international ice to wear out the Connecticut whale. The puck is down and away we go. Finishing out the weekend in the PHF. Already a couple of games in action. They are on a nice little win streak right now. Won six straight games, couple over Buffalo, Montreal, then of course Metropolitan and Connecticut as well, part of that win streak. Here's Reyes coming in, saved by Chuli. Reyes is on a bit of a heater right now as well, but denied that time by Chuli. But you still don't want to let teams back into it. Here's Wolfiler trying to break the ice here early on. Wolfiler's in and scores! A great start for the Connecticut Whale! Alyssa Wolfiler all by herself, 1-0 Connecticut. The veteran Alyssa Wolfiler for the road team. You see this play through the neutral zone, to your point, Alyssa Wolfiler being strong on the puck and able to get by the defense and then pass Elaine Chuli for the first goal of the game. Turned over, Gerard. Out in front, Marchment touches it along. Lonergan for Marchment! Marchment scores! Right over Chuli on the break. The Whale double their advantage. It's 2-0, 22 on the board again. Then Toronto yesterday, today, Connecticut has used it to their advantage. Lonergan with pace. When she sees the defense commit, that's when she shuffles the puck over to Marchment who is not gonna miss that. That, may uh, that, that post in particular, uh, this net in particular on this side of the ice. Lonergan winds up and scores! The one-timer, top shelf, right as five on three comes to an end, and Connecticut extends its lead to three nothing. Power play off the face-off, Connecticut able to win this. They change the point of attack and boom, right there, right down through here of the Toronto Six, saying hi to the crowd. Also saw what what a dramatic shot of Taylor Gerrard in the box, <laughs> longingly looking at the ice. <laughs> Let me out. <laughs> waiting to break out and perhaps get on the score sheet here. About a minute to go on this power play, but it's turned over. Maybe a shorthanded opportunity. The shot fired wide by Mrazova. Almost a great opportunity to make this 4-0. And still, Mrazova coming in. Mrazova fires it just wide. Now it's Lum. Lum at it, poked away. And Marchment could be in. Kennedy Marchment for Connecticut. Scores! Top shelf, Marchment again. She is on fire this week. And it's 4-0 Connecticut. A shorthanded goal for the Whale. Ooh, a rare smile from Colton Orr on the bench, and why not? Ties leader, uh, scoring leader, Kennedy Marchman able to dispossess Toronto off to the races. Cool, calm, collected, plucks the top corner, beats Elaine Chuli glove side. Here come the six, and Howard, Howard winds up, and it's saved. Ives with a big stop down to her left. Oh, and this was left there. Lonergan is in. Skating with Marchman. Kennedy Marchman saved. Elaine Chuli, a big stop. And connect. Opportunity here. Walking in. Going to the backhand score. There's one back for Toronto. A much needed goal for the six. It's 4 1, and Ives is beaten for the first time today. And who else? Over to Howard. Howard is able to then bring that across and beats Ives with a backhander. Tabin across the blue line, back for Tabin. Remember, if Connecticut gets a hold of this puck, it's target practice. Off to the near side, back out in front. Missed on the shot. Another big save by I. All the way in for Monroe. This is off the end boards. That should pretty much bring us to the finish line. As Connecticut comes into Toronto, salvages a split on the weekend. A very impressive 4-1 win over the Toronto Six for the Connecticut Whale.
And for the first time this year, Toronto does not score multiple goals in a game. Abby Ives was stuck.